Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts, I'm Scott. Behind me are those absolutely beautiful inverts. We're going to show you some more of the spiders and maybe some other insects of our invert room tour. So let's get into it. So up first is my Mastigo Proctus Gigantus. Giant Whip Scorpion. And she is absolutely beautiful. As soon as I took the lid off, she got me, so my hand it absolutely stinks like vinegar. But it's worth it because this is just an absolutely beautiful invert to have in a collection. The only one to be found in the United States and described by Lucas in 1835. Just look at the length of that tail or spine at the back. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful creature. My word, a joy to have in a collection these are. Um, that's where she goes. She's got a little cave in there where she likes to hide most of the time. I'd say she's probably in there about 50% of the time. The rest of the time she's just out and about like this. Looking absolutely gorgeous. And this beautiful girl here is my Koshiana Berenipes. These actually are actually a single species genus. So this spider here... It's the only one in the genus, all the way from Brazil, and it was described by Locke in 1841, who actually originally named it Mygael Berenipes, and it had a name, well, genus transfer in 2008, and so far, as of 2020, it's only ever been discovered or found in Brazil, but they're just absolutely beautiful, literally if you look just there where that gold spot is, it's like somebody's just dripped a little bit of gold on her bum. An absolute gem of a spider. One of the smaller ones. This is actually an adult female. And she's probably two and a half inches leg span. Maybe maybe pushing three if you really stretch those legs out. But I'm going to say two and a half. She's absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? Another female and another one of the smaller tarantulas. Let me just move her across this is my davius pentalorus and she actually comes all the way from mexico and guatemala absolutely beautiful She's absolutely stunningly 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 gorgeous spider the carapace there is just like metallic isn't it mark metallic pink with these orangey red stripes across the bum and she's probably close on to four and a half inches across just an absolute beautiful spider um i have got a smaller one um literally a sling so i'm really hoping that's a male but i am actively looking for a mature male because this girl recently molted about four weeks ago so i really want to try and get her hooked up with a male and she just oh my god she's just stunning it's like a metallic almost like a suede pattern on, on her carapace there and I've just gone to put her away and I've gone to move the enclosure and she's given me a threat pose. So I just wanted to show you guys that they do actually give you a threat pose and these ones can give you a little bit of a nip if provoked as well. <laughs> and this one with its legs just hiding around in the sand is a Cicarius thomasides and this one is one of the six-eyed sand spiders. This is absolutely gorgeous if i can just there we go there we go just put the lid on there stop it getting out but what do you think to that that is absolutely beautiful spider up so this is my female uh euthalia species so mexican species uh, pretty rare in the hobby. You don't see many of these. The actual species at the moment is unknown So it's going to be going to the northern show with me um, to be shown to Luke and Lee over at the spider shop. Lee probably imported it in 2014 So he's going to take a quick look to see if we can't get the species I'm really hoping it's a portrait classic because they're exceptionally rare, but just look how beautiful this spider is now if we move on to something a little bit more unusual. This is a Porcelio Hoffman Saggy. Um, let's have a look. There's one. These are one of the world's uh, largest 
isopods and they are just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> uh, I'm hoping actually to pick a couple more of these up because we picked up 12 from the last show so I'm hoping to pick another 12 up um, and get some DN new DNA as well as and get these guys breathing they're not that expensive um, to be honest it's just one of those species that I really like to try and breed I think it's just purely because of the size of them and they're just beautiful beautiful creatures <laughs> and in here are uh, both slings they're both blondies this is the one that we got in the mystery box uh, from the last show from Bugnut absolutely beautiful so that's doing really really well as you can see looking like it's going to do a molt now the other one that we got from Portsmouth Tarantulas has actually molted we got this one back in seas at the very start of the year so this one's molted and just look at her now or him and all those hairs I'm looking forward to a future of being itchy with these guys <laughs> and last but not least is our Terranoplia Sazame another stunning stunning spider an iridescent blue or sarsame tarantula absolutely gorgeous you can see the iridescence on her all that blue around here across a carapace is just absolutely remarkable now when these guys molt and they first come out of that molt this blue is just to absolutely die for now these guys are from brazil um <laughs> and they were they were discovered and named in 2011 uh, by several taxonomists the first one was Rogerio Bertini the second Roberto Hikoria uh, Nagahama and then finally the third taxonomist that worked on this species back in 2011 try not to laugh is Caroline Serrari Fukushimi uh, <laughs> but this spider I think the Sazames are absolutely stunningly beautiful, an exceptionally special tarantula and just an absolute beauty to have. Boom! So that was another part to our Invert Room collection. I really enjoy this because what it means is I'll be able to show you several different insects all in one video, all in one go, instead of concentrating just purely on one species for the whole entire video. Anyway guys, if you've liked what we're doing here, remember to hit that subscription button, hit that like button, and more importantly, support us amazingly by commenting below. I will get back to anybody and everybody that comments down below. Spa Spiders, 15% for channel members, that blue join button, click that one, that, that's how you become a channel member. This Sunday, oh my word, is another show. I am so, so looking forward to it. It is the Northern Show in Barnsley. If you're going, I'm working the Bugnut stand. So if you want to come round and say hello, um, I've got stickers with me. I'll be taking those with me as well. It's going to be a really, really, really fun event. Um, Caesar from Ants HQ is going to be doing a talk all around ants and ant keeping. That's going to be really, really interesting. That's going to be a talk that I would especially want to go and watch and brush up on the old ant keeping skills. Steve Thornton is also doing a talk on enclosure building. Now, Steve's obviously a good friend of mine, Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. If you don't know who this man is, I highly suggest you go check him out on YouTube. He is absolutely amazing when it comes to building those enclosures, Metallica. I've got Stranger Things ones that he's done. He's just awesome, so please check him out. Anyway, I can't wait to watch him um, doing his basic builds and talking people through how you start on a build and how you build up that enclosure to make it look how you want it to before putting your spider or other animal in there. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you see me at the show, please remind me to take pictures. Um, I wanna take pictures of myself with you guys and whack it all over social media because I always forget. And as I've said before, these pictures are kind of like a gateway back into your memory. They really do take you straight back there, don't they? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, we shall See you again on the next one. Tomorrow night, live with Dave's Little Beasties. We're discussing wild caught tarantulas. Do we need them in the hobby? Is it impactment on the species, especially if there's something like Cites, and just maybe, hopefully, kind of 
raise some eyebrows, put some controversial views out there and just have a really, really good debate because that's what it's all about. Just have that good debate and see what the conclusions are towards the end of that live. We've also got a ton of other questions to ask Uncle Dave as well, as you guys know. Um, but again, if you are on that live and you ask Uncle Dave a question through myself, if you put it into those comments, those comments can go really, really fast. So please bear with me. Just keep commenting until I've acknowledged it and I've asked him that question. It can be a little bit frustrating sometimes with so many people watching. Those comments can go fast. So I do apologise for that. But like I said, just please just keep putting it in there. And hopefully we'll be able to see that and ask Uncle Dave that question. Anyway, again, <laughs> I am going now. We shall see you again on the next one. Oh, first is my Mastigo Proctus Giganteus, and it's just gone for a walk. <laughs>